Hi everyone, welcome back to Spiritual Growth Tarot. I, I'm Denise, of course. <laughs> uh, thank you for coming back, I really appreciate it. So today I'm going to read on uh, Merrick Garland and the DOJ and whether or not uh, they're going to look into um, Trump Incorporated, uh, you know, maybe there'll be some filings against Trump Incorporated because of what's come through with Weiselberg's uh, indictment. Weiselberg, Weiselberg, uh, because it was brought up like 30 times in all that paperwork, all the documentation that came through against uh, Weiselberg. So I want to check into that and see how the DOJ is doing. I, you know, I kind of wonder, I, I've read on them before. I, I mean, I've read on Merrick Garland before. And, and it looked it looked good so far, but I'm um, I'm wondering if he's just so overwhelmed. If maybe the maybe the Department of Justice itself is so darn overwhelmed it can't um, function correctly for a while until they clean up everything, all the damage that Bill Barr did. You know that's possible. So anyway, I want to look at all that. Um, and so I'll get the cards going, drop the camera down, and get started. <laughs> okay. Okay, so I'm, oops, I get this to stop bumping around, jumping. Okay, I'm using uh, Kipper, Tara Marchetti's Kipper for this. Okay, so will Merrick Garland, will the Department of Justice bring federal charges against Trump Organization or Trump Incorporated, whatever? Um, will... Will that ever happen? Will the Department of Justice step in and bring federal charges against Trump? Trump Organization, Trump Incorporated. Ooh, okay, that's something that takes time. Okay, well, this is interesting. I keep saying I'm going to stop saying that, and I keep saying it. <laughs> cool. But it is. It's interesting. Okay, so here's Trump, and here's Melania. I don't know why she would show up here. But, you know, when you're reading about somebody... That's the main. If the, if it's a woman, it's this card, and if it's a man, it's this card, and if it's a man, then the woman card is always the relationship with, you know, his main female in his life, and that is Melania. So I don't know why she's shown up here, but she has. So this cannot be anyone else other than her, because that that's the way this system works. I'm. Um, there will be court. Uh, there will be, he will be brought into court. There will be charges pressed. This is a card of legal matters and, you know, the judicial process. And it also is hanging over this enemy. You know, false person can be an enemy. And the, you know, the deception, the big lie the big lie, because he lost, and he is going to wind up, I don't know if he'll ever be in complete poverty, but he's he will wind up having all his assets seized uh, from, from the uh, IRS, uh, you know, the tax fraud. It's come through so many times in so many of my readings that I feel certain he's going to, 
have his assets seized, and then be, you, we have to remember that his um, that loan that he has guaranteed personally to Deutsche Bank for three hundred thirty million dollars. Well, that you you know we say well that could be a drop in the bucket for him, but um, by the time all his other assets are seized <clears throat> and those loans come due in twenty twenty three and twenty twenty four. That's going to be a big problem if there's anything left. So this is him. He doesn't see it coming because this is behind his back. He's exiting that way. He can't get away from the situation that he has created where he turned, uh, you know, Mike Pence into the enemy and Nancy Pelosi, you know, the, the, ins the insurrection that happened is all because of him. He created it. He is the enemy. And that's what will be seen in a court of law at some point. Because we have to remember, you know, like I said in the beginning, uh, you know, federal violations were brought up at least 30 times in the New York filings against Weisselberg. So I'm... Um, it's, this is even more than the insurrection. But this card here is about... Um, it's about dishonesty. It's about cheating as well. Um, and trying to evade, like I said, the taxes. Now, let's see... Yeah, I, I, get, I feel like it's going to take a long time... You know, this is a card of, it can be, not, not always, but it can be a card of two years or more. But what I'm getting here with this string of cards is it's going to take quite some time for the successful, um, you know, the success to come through over the, the court cases. But it's hanging right over him. You know, he's not in a powerful position here. If he were in a powerful position, he would have landed over here and been looking this way, where all the cards in front of him would have been, you know, in a what you would call an auspicious, you know, like a good position. But all of these cards are behind him. So whoever this mature man and um, someone maybe comes in and brings in a whole lot of uh, abundance. But it could be somebody that's, uh, you know, into speculation and gambling as well because that's another meaning with this card. But so it looks to me like not only all of this is bad for Trump, so are all of these cards up here. Now, because this... This card comes right next to Melania, and she's looking in this direction. I think it's. I think the cards are saying. I think this reading is saying that. I don't know if she offers up any information about what happened during the insurrection, but it could also be the message here could be that because of all the court filings and the court cases that come down on Trump. Because this card knights over to him, and it's up on the top. The top row is, is the pressure on the bottom row. So the court cases on him are also going to affect her. And because the poverty card knights up to her, that tells me she's not going to get the money that she's been always holding out for him, which is why she has stayed with him all these years. But she might go towards someone else who seems to... She might... Melania may gamble on uh, another older man or another mature man <laughs> outside of Trump. So she, Melania, is working on that already. And I, I, have, I have it, you know, on my list to read on her. Like, where's Melania is what I've been wondering. So I, I'll dive into that further. But part of, I think part of the answer is here or at least in the future, as, as it relates to Trump, she's gone, and she's going for somebody else that brings in the money because the money's gone. 
So yes, Merrick Garland will definitely bring charges. Uh, the DOJ, this, this is the DOJ. So I, I think that, that this is a big yes. Let's, let me draw five more cards and then I'll let it go. Okay, so so I, I think yes, and then again, it's you know it's taking time. And I think that what it's going to bring out as far as federal violations is uh, connections with um, foreign money. So this would bring in that um, it could bring in documents from, uh, what's her name, that Rosemary Vroblik, I think is how you pronounce her last name, the gal that resigned from, the gal that processed, she's the one that processed all those loans that are coming due in 2023 and 2024 from Deutsche Bank. And she's the one that processed loans over and over and over again for Trump since I think it was 2010 uh, for Trump Org. So, and she's from Czechoslovakia, so this could be her showing up. Um, that, you know, this could be part of it. That those documents from those loans could reveal uh, disclosures on his tax returns that, uh, you know, the discrepancies of the disclosures on his tax returns between the loans that he got from Deutsche Bank and um, what he, you know, what he disclosed on his tax returns, they, they won't jive. You know, they won't be the same. There'll be a, there'll be something, something missing. That's what it is. It's going to be something missing. Something's wrong, and something's missing. Something's deficient. You know, on those uh, tax returns. And then his honor. Yeah, is gone because he's a fraud and his honor is now very poor and this card just has to do with meetings so what what else is going to be what will come through eventually will be that there there were um, meetings that um, you know where he was just doing what he could to have a sudden financial um, payout. But you know what? This card is also about like bonuses and tips. You know, you can see in the image right here, it's like, oh yeah, here, thank you. You know, that kind of thing. Now on another level, this is, this is you know, just one of the, I think there's four money cards in the deck, but this one has to do with like insurance payouts. And it could be like a tax refund. It's definitely about prof, you know, um, like profit and loss type of statements. Like that, this would be the profit statement. So there's something that's going to come through in court that reveals not only who who he met with, um, what negotiations came through in order to, um, you know, I mean, who knows, maybe he had some kind of weird kickbacks or something going with Deutsche Bank, but then again, maybe Deutsche Bank is part of the whole money laundering thing that he'll probably end up going down for. Because we've got money laundering here and here and here. And maybe Melania knows all about that. Because, <laughs> I mean, this, the, this, this card here brings in that element of like this club of money laundering. And, and if I wasn't reading the meaning on this card and I just went with the images, this is like something that moves around and around and around. Like foreign money laundering. 
and then you get the payout. You know, the rules of money laundering is you got to launder it twice. You take the dirty money and then you have to launder it twice so that it's, you know, doubly hard to find. But there are people involved in all those transactions. So that is probably the main reason why things would take so much time back here to see all the players involved because we've got the two, you know, the thievery and the fraud. We've We've got both of the really negative cards here. So that's interesting. <laughs> there, I said it again. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, my goodness. Anyway, so... I think, I think the answer is yes. Merrick Garland will be bringing federal charges. But we're probably going to have to be very patient in our longing, if I read this on another level, in our longing for seeing justice. You know. Yeah. Okay, well, for now, I'm just going to let this go, but we can always revisit it later as more information comes out. Uh, but meanwhile, I'm sending you guys all my love, and lots of hugs, and hope everyone's doing well. Okay, bye.